Hey guys, welcome to another algebra lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to graph equations. And you might think, well, hang on, what's algebra got to do with graphs? Isn't algebra just about letters and numbers? Well, actually, drawing a graph is a very big part of algebra, and it helps you to get a visual representation of what the graph is uh, trying to tell us and later on uh, a graphical representation is also useful for us to see the real-life relevance of mathematical equations so let's do a example where we draw a graph of a simple equation such as y equals x plus 5 now, if you have a look at this equation, uh, x is a container or what we call a variable and you can put whatever you want into the variable. So you can say x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever you want. And once you have a number for x, you can then calculate what y is using the equation x plus 5. So let's do a table to demonstrate the process. So let's say x equals 0. Now what does y equal when x is equal to 0? Well y equals 0 plus 5 which is 5 so let's put down 5 for y now we can continue making up numbers we want for x let's say x is equal to 1 so if we put 1 where x is 1 plus 5 y equals 1 plus 5 which equals 6 so y is equal to 6 now we can continue and let's say uh, x is equal to 2 so 2 plus 5 is 7. Uh, let's make x equal to 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. And now we have a table of values that we have just generated from this equation. Now once we have a table of values, it becomes quite easy for us to draw a graph. So let's now talk about how to draw a graph. In order to draw a graph, uh, firstly we need to draw the axes. And horizontally we have the x-axis, so it's a horizontal line, we call that x. And vertically we have what we call the y-axis, which I'm going to try and draw a straight line and this is the y-axis the y-axis and it's vertical okay so basically from uh, the equation from this table of values we're gonna have zero in the middle of the axes and then going to the right we're gonna go up in uh, ones so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And going to the left, we actually have negative num numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Going up, we have positive numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And going down, we have negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Okay, let's have a look at the first coordinates. Uh, when x is 0, y is equal to 5. So to draw this point onto our graph, you're going to go to 0 for x. So horizontally, if you go to 0, and y is equal to 5, so horizontally it's 0, vertically it's 5, so this is our first point. So this is our first point. 
Actually, let me draw the points in a different color. So this is our first point. Now the second point, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 6. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 6. And I should draw more numbers on the y-axis. So 6, 7, 8. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 6. So here, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 6. So we draw the point here. Now let's use a different color. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 7. So when x is equal to 2, right, horizontally we go to 2, vertically we go to 7, and we just draw the lines that match these two numbers up. So this is our point. And the last one, let's use blue. When x is 3, y equals 8. So when x is equal to 3, let's trace the straight line up. y is equal to 8, trace the straight line to the right. And the blue one, the blue dot represents the fourth point when x is 3, y equals 8. And eventually, you got four points. And what do we notice about the four points? that they line up in a straight line. So if we join them up like this, this line here represents the equation y equals x plus 5. So congratulations, you have just drawn your first uh, linear equation. Linear means a straight line. Okay, now we're going to get you guys to draw another graph. So see if you guys can draw an equation. Draw the graph of the equation y equals uh, 5 Oh, actually, let's make it 2x, y equals 2x. So draw that and come back in a few minutes to check your answer. Okay, so step one, we're going to draw our table of values. And uh, so we have couple of simple numbers for x so let's put down a 0, 1 and 2 now some people ask well why is x always 0, 1 and 2 because we want to just make up some simple values for x and that way it makes us uh, calculate the variable y a, li a little bit easier rather than using big numbers for x. So these three numbers can be whatever numbers you want. I mean if you wanted to you can make x equals 10. But we are drawing a graph close to the origin. So uh, we want numbers close to 0 and simple numbers. So that's why we have 0, 1 and 2. Now why will totally depend on what the equation says and uh, in this case it says 2 times x so 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 1 is 2 so y equals 2 times 1 which is 2 and in this case uh, the last one y equals 2 times 2 which is 4 once you have drawn the table of values then you can draw the graph so we have our graph, uh, that's the y-axis, and this is the x-axis, 0, 0, when x is 1, uh, 
When x is 1, y is 2, so we draw our first point there. When x is 2, y is 4, we draw our second point there. Then we line up the points using a straight line. And this line represents y equals 2x. Okay, so now that we have drawn two graphs, uh, let's draw a third one that is slightly more complicated. So let's draw a graph of y equals 3x minus 1. Okay, so now uh, make up our table of values. When x is 0, y is y equals 3 times 0 minus 1 so that's 3 0 minus 1 is negative 1 remember 3 times 0 is 0 okay so that's negative 1 when x is 1 y is 3 times 1 minus 1 so that's 3 minus 1 which is 2 and when x equals three, x equals two. Three times two is six. Minus one is five. Okay. Now let's draw our Cartesian plane. So we have the y-axis, the x-axis. When x is zero, y is negative one. So that's our first point here. When x is 1, y is equal to 2. So that's our second point. And when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. And that's our third point. Again, you can see our lines line up, our dots line up to a straight line. So this straight line is the equation y equals 3x minus 1. Okay guys, thanks for watching the tutorial on how to draw straight line graphs. Uh, see you next time for another math tutorial. Thanks for watching.